All right. Now we're doing MDM Web Docs Guides HTML Introduction to HTML. Uh, so this one's just, I mean, it's almost like we're going back in time, honestly, with this one. But, you know, repetition is key, some people say. So let's get to it. Uh, at its heart, HTML is a language made up of elements which can be applied to pieces of text to give them different meaning in a document. Is it a paragraph? Is it a bulleted list? Is it a part of a table? Also, structure a document into logical sections. Does it have a header, three columns of content, a navigation menu, and embed content such as images and videos into a page? Uh, this module will introduce the first two of these, the first two of these, I don't know which two it's talking about, uh, whatever, to introduce fundamental concepts and syntax that we need to know to understand HTML. This right here is just basically you click this and it's going to bring us right back here. So nice loop, guys. Uh, so prerequisites. Uh, before starting this module, we don't need any previous HTML knowledge, but we should have at least a basic familiarity with using computers and using the web passively. Uh, that is looking at just looking at it and consuming content, all right? Uh, we should have a basic work environment set up a detail, as detailed in installing basic software, which we already do, and understand how to create and manage files as, deal with, uh, as detailed in dealing with files, which we already did. Uh, so both are parts of getting started with the web complete beginner's module. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, so note, if we are working on a computer tablet or other device, where we don't have the ability to create our own files, uh, we can try out most of the code examples in an, in an online coding program such as JS, Bin, or Glitch. Turns out. Mm, pardon me. So guides. This module contains the following articles which will take us through all the basic theory of HTML and provide ample opportunity for us to test out some skills. Okay. So we're just going to go up through this right now. Uh, so getting started with the HTML covers the absolute basics of HTML. To get us started, uh, we define elements, attributes, and other important terms and show where they fit in the language. We also show how a typ typical HTML page is structured and how an HTML, pardon me, HTML element is structured. Uh, and explain other important basic language features. Along the way, we'll play with some HTML to get us interested. Okay. Uh, what's in the head metadata in HTML? The head of an HTML document is part is the part that is not displayed in the web browser when the page is loaded. It contains information such as the page title, links to CSS, if we want to style the HTML content with CSS, links to custom favicons, I don't know what that is, and metadata, data about the HTML such as who wrote it and important keywords that describe the content. Excuse me, the document. Uh, HTML text fundamentals. One of HTML's main jobs is to give text meaning, also known as semantics, so that the browser knows how to display it correctly. This article looks at how to use HTML to break up a block of text into a structure of headings and paragraphs, add emphasis, importance to words, create lists, and more. All right, so now we're going to look at uh, creating hyperlinks. Hyperlinks are really important. They are what make this, the web the web. This is not the first time I've read this on video. Uh, this article shows the syntax required to make a link and discusses best practices for links. All right. Uh, advanced text formatting. There are many other elements in HTML for formatting text that we didn't get to in the HTML text fundamentals article, which is this one. All right. The uh, elements here are less well known, but still useful to know about. In this article, we're going to learn about marking up quotations, description lists, computer code, and other related text, subscript, and uh, superscript, contact information, and more. Document and website structure. As well as defining individual parts of our page, such as a paragraph or an image, HTML is also used to define areas of our website, such as the header, the navigation menu, or the main content column. This article looks into how to plan a basic website structure and how to write the HTML to represent this structure. Represent this structure. How about that? 
Uh, so now we're on to debugging HTML. Writing HTML is fine, but what if something goes wrong and we can't work out where the error in the code is? Well, this, error, this article is going to introduce us to some tools that can help. There's also going to be some assessments. Uh, the following assessments will test our understanding of the HTML basics covered in the guides above. Uh, we're going to be doing marking up a letter. Uh, we all learn how to write a letter sooner or later. It is also a useful example to test out text formatting skills. Uh, in this assessment, we'll be given a letter to mark up. All right. And then structuring a page of content. This assessment tests our ability to use HTML to structure a simple page of content containing a header, a footer, a navigation menu, main content, and a sidebar. Uh, okay, and that's pretty much it. So next we're going to be doing getting started with HTML, and we'll see you next time.